Welcome back to another class. I'm Eli the Computer Guy and today's class is how to use a hard drive enclosure to recover data. So you may be asking what a hard drive enclosure is. Well, you know what an external hard drive is. You know one of these guys that you know has, has a hard drive in here, you know, 200 gigabytes or 500 gigs or a terabyte or whatever. And you plug this into your computer and you can store data on it. So what many people don't realize is, is an external hard drive is actually two components that, that you can buy separately and put together. You have a hard drive inside. So all of these external hard drives, whether, whether they're the big hard drives like this or the, the little external hard drives, they all actually have normal hard drives inside. So inside of this uh, Western Digital external hard drive is a desktop computer hard drive. If you had a, had a little, uh, little hard drive, external hard drive, there would be a laptop computer hard drive in there. So these external hard drives uh, are made up of, of real normal hard drives. There's a, there's a normal hard drive in here. And then the enclosure itself. This enclosure not only protects the hard drive, but has a lot of electronics and gear in here in order to allow the hard drive to connect to your computer. So you can plug in the USB cable and all of that. What many people don't realize is that you can buy external uh, hard drive enclosures by themselves. If you go to Newegg.com or TigerDirect.com, you can buy just the enclosure. So this, this is for one of the, the small hard drives, a laptop hard drive. But this is simply an enclosure so that you can put a laptop hard drive into this and turn it into an external hard drive. The same is true oops, with, with desktop size hard drives. So this is a larger enclosure. This enclosure allows you to put in desktop hard drives uh, to create a, 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 uh, an external hard drive for your computer. Why you can use this in data recovery uh, is a number of things. First, if you, if you have an external hard drive that's failed, so you have a Western Digital hard drive like this that, that's failed, it just died and you can't get any information out of it, it just, it just won't turn on. Well, you can pull the hard drive out of this because this has a normal hard drive, put that hard drive into a new hard drive enclosure, and many times it is the hard drive enclosure that has failed and not the hard drive. So your data that's on here, uh, you just put the hard drive into a new enclosure and then, and then you just go on your way. Your, your data is fine. You have a new hard drive, external hard drive. You can also, if, you're, if your computer dies, uh, let's say your, your motherboard on your computer dies, or, or you just have a large hard drive uh, from an old computer, well, you can take that hard drive out, put it into a new the hard drive enclosure, and then you now have an external hard drive. You can use it however you like. If you're not worried about keeping the hard drive or turning your hard drive into an external hard drive, you can simply pull your hard drive out of the computer, plug it into one of these enclosures, plug the little USB port into your computer, and then you can go in and grab any files that you need. So, uh, so let's say the motherboard in a very old computer died, a Windows 98 computer, but it still has some documents or it still has some pictures that you care about. You don't want to go through the trouble of repairing it, you know, the time, etc. You can simply go buy an external hard drive enclosure, pull out the hard drive from the old computer, plug it into the new hard drive enclosure, and then just navigate in and, and grab the, the files and folders that you want. So this class is going to teach you how to use a hard drive enclosure in order to recover data. So the first thing we need to talk about are the hard drive enclosures themselves. So if you want to go out and buy a hard drive enclosure, uh, honestly, you cannot normally buy them at places like Best Buy or, or Staples or such. If you have a local computer store, like Eli the Computer Guy was, uh, you may be able to buy a hard drive enclosure from them, but usually you have to buy hardware, uh, hard drive enclosures online. Just go to Newegg.com or TigerDirect.com and you can buy a hard drive enclosure there. Hard drive enclosures are generally going to cost you somewhere between $10 to $30 uh, when, when shipping is included. Uh, that, that's about the cost. They're, they're pretty inexpensive. 
Now, when you go on, you're going to notice that there's hundreds of different manufacturers uh, for hard drive enclosures. And you're going to ask, Eli, what's, what's, what's your opinion? Who is the best manufacturer of hard drive enclosures? And I'm going to tell you, they all suck. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I really, I have no idea why, but like Dell or Hewlett Packard or IBM, all these companies, they have not gotten into building hard drive enclosures. Like you cannot buy a Western Digital hard drive enclosure. You can buy an external hard drive, but you cannot simply buy the enclosure. The only people that sell hard drive enclosures are a whole plethora of, of the Chinese knockoff vendors. So um, basically when, when I used to buy the external hard drive enclosures for, for the store, uh, I, I usually figured that about 25% uh, would be bad. Uh, it's kind of sad but true, but, but realistically just, just realize uh, that there's a huge failure rate with these uh, external hard drive enclosures. They're incredibly useful uh, when they work, when they come from the manufacturer working, um, but a lot of times <laughs> they don't come from the manufacturer working. So when you come to buy the, the hard drive enclosure, you have two sizes of course for hard drive enclosures. You have the laptop version, so you have the small version. This is like the Western Digital Passport size. Or you have the large hard drive version. Pretty simple. Now, again, uh, for this class, this isn't a rank beginner class, so you, you should know something about computers if you're taking this class. Now, with these enclosures, so you have two different sizes. You have the laptop size and you have the uh, the, the big size, the desktop size. And then, of course, you also have two types of interfaces. So you either have IDE hard drives or you have SATA hard drives. So if you're going to, to make an external hard drive out of the hard drive you're using for data recovery, uh, you know, you're actually you're going to keep it as an external hard drive. Then, of course, you should buy the appropriate sized uh, hard drive enclosure with the appropriate interface. If all you're doing is using the, the, the parts of a hard drive enclosure to do data recovery, then remember that SATA uh, large hard drives, desktop hard drives, and SATA laptop hard drives use the same power and, and, uh, and, and motherboard interface. So this is a, a SATA uh, desktop uh, external hard drive uh, enclosure. I can use this for both desktop uh, hard drives and for laptop SATA hard drives. So if all I'm doing is pulling data off of a hard drive, I can use a, a SATA external adapter for either, either laptop or desktop uh, uh, hard drives. The same is not true though, remember, with uh, IDE. IDE uses, uses a different interface for desktop computers and for laptop computers. So if you have a laptop hard drive, that's IDE, you need a laptop uh, hard drive, IDE hard drive enclosure. If you have a desktop IDE hard drive, you need a desktop IDE enclosure. Uh, that's all, all pretty simple. And, uh, and that, that's all you need to realize when you, when you go to buy your external hard drive enclosures is just, just think about, are you doing this just for pure data recovery or do you plan to actually make a hard, an external hard drive out of the drive when you're done. Um, if all you're doing using it for is data recovery, then SATA will work on both hard drive, uh, desktop hard drives and laptop hard drives. But with IDE hard drives, you have to get a laptop hard drive enclosure for laptop hard drives and a desktop hard drive enclosure for desktop hard drives. So, uh, so just just give me a second, and, and we're gonna go a little deeper into this. Okay, before we, we crack open a laptop, and I, and I just show you how this recovery process works, it's all, it's all pretty simple. Uh, we do have to do the obligatory warning. Ah. Uh, the only real warning you have to worry about with using uh, uh, hard drive enclosures is do not plug. If you have a Windows computer and, and you, you plug it into the hard drive enclosure, do not plug that hard drive enclosure into a Mac. Love of God, never, never, never uh, use a Mac for data recovery for, for Windows computers. The reason is, is there's the whole, when you plug the, 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 the 
the, the hard drive into the Mac computer. It'll like ask you if you want to initialize the drive or whatever. Well, when you initialize the drive, it wipes out all the data that's on the computer or on the hard drive. Uh, you can use complicated data recovery to get it back. By that point, your job just went from being very easy to, to a real pain in the butt. So the only warning with this is if you pull the hard drive um, out of a type of a computer, plug and, and you plug it into the external hard drive, plug that into the same type of computer. So if you're doing Windows data recovery, if you pull a hard drive out of a Windows computer, then you plug it into another Windows computer. Uh, if you're doing Linux, probably just be best, just plug it into another Linux computer. And if you're using Mac, definitely just plug it into another Mac computer. So, so don't, don't pull a Windows uh, hard drive out of, a, out of a computer and then plug it into a Mac. That definitely, 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 definitely is a bad thing. Uh, so, so just keep that in mind and, and you'll have a pretty good day. Okay, so for this demonstration, uh, I have, have a good laptop, a fully functioning little Windows XP laptop computer here, and we have a dead computer that I don't care about. So this computer, uh, the hard drive does have data on it, but for some reason I cannot access it. So let's say the motherboard died and I need to access uh, the information that's on the hard drive. Or let's say a virus or corruption wiped out the operating system. Now remember, as a technician, that viruses can destroy the operating system, can destroy software without hurting the actual data. So your pictures and your documents and even databases and stuff may be perfectly fine, uh, but your computer can't boot up uh, for you to get access to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the, la the, the hard drive out of this laptop. Um, so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this for a few minutes. I've loosened the screws and so now, I can pull the laptop straight out of this computer. Now, now, just like always, uh, we have to take the laptop out of this little carrying case that it's in that protects it in the laptop. So it'll take two seconds, one screw. So we pull the laptop hard drive out of the computer. Now this is an IDE laptop hard drive. One thing that confuses people is if they, if they look at the connector of a, of a laptop IDE hard drive, it does not look like an IDE connector at all. The reason is, is because they always put a little adapter on the end of the, uh, of, of the IDE hard drive so that it connect, can connect to the computer. I don't know why they do this, but they do. So if you see a connection at, at the bottom of your, your IDE laptop uh, hard drive that doesn't look like an IDE or a SATA uh, connection, what that is is that is an adapter and you pull that off. So you pull off the adapter and now you have the normal pins of, of, of an IDE hard drive. So we now have the, the laptop IDE hard drive. We can go, we can get our IDE uh, laptop hard drive enclosure. We then just plug the hard drive into the enclosure. I always love how people say just and then they spent like five minutes forcing it in. Okay, so now, now this, this hard drive is in this enclosure. So all we do, since this is a laptop, is we grab your USB cable, we plug one side, of course, into the hard drive enclosure and the other side into the computer. So, why don't you come over and see if you can take a look at the computer with me.
So now we're looking at, at the desktop. The, uh, the, the hard drive and the enclosure is plugged in and this is the laptop computer. So all we need to do to, to get into that laptop hard drive, we took out of the other computer, just go down to start, go to computer, and now that hard drive shows up as a secondary hard drive. All we have to do to go in and get data is double click on it and we are now in that hard drive. So if we go to documents and settings, and then we go to owner, that was the, the username that was in the other computer. We just double click on that. We can go to my documents. And now all we have access to all of the documents that was on the other computer. So I can go down here and I can, I don't know, I can kick on this blue blop. So this, this blue blop picture uh, was on the other computer. So this is how we can very easily recover data off of a hard drive. You know, if the motherboards died or if there are so many viruses on the computer that it's just a real pain to, to try to get into and load, uh, all you have to do is, is dump the hard drive into an external hard drive enclosure and you can, you can just navigate through it. Uh, let's see, Mike. There we go. See all these pictures. These are the pictures and documents that are on the hard drive that were in the other computer. So, uh, so let me move you back to, to where you were and uh, we'll go over some final thoughts. So in this class I showed you how to take a hard drive out of a laptop computer or a desktop computer and put it in an external hard drive enclosure and I showed you how you can recover data uh, that way. It's, it's generally pretty simple. So you just, you just pull the hard drive out, you get in the, the right external hard drive enclosure, so either IDE or SATA and the right size, remember the, 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 uh, the laptop hard drive size or the desktop hard drive size. Uh, again. Unfortunately, you cannot just buy these hard drive enclosures at Best Buy. I don't know why. Uh, you do have to go online to buy them. They normally cost anywhere between, like I say, $10 to $30, and it really doesn't matter what one you buy. They're all kind of crappy, to be honest with you. So uh, just go to Newegg.com or TigerDirect.com, buy yourself an external hard drive enclosure, and, and you, you can recover data. Uh, as I said during the warnings, if you have a Windows hard drive, do not put it into an enclosure and plug it into a Mac computer. Uh, your data goes bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Uh, you can get your data back, but then you actually have to go and do like real heavy duty data recovery procedures and it's just a real pain in the butt. So do not plug a Windows uh, hard drive into a Mac computer, just, just ever. Another thing to, to keep in mind, something I did not show you during this class, is sometimes when you plug that external hard drive that you created into your computer, you may have to deal with Windows permissions issues. We will have a class uh, on Windows permissions for data recovery. But basically, sometimes you have to do something called take ownership of the hard drive and all of the contents of the hard drive and then give yourself uh, full, full rights to the hard drive and everything in there. Uh, this will take about 15 or 20 minutes to explain during its own little class, so I'm not going to, to say it here. But if you plug the hard drive into the computer, you hear the boop boop. It's obviously detected, you go to my computer, you see the hard drive is there, but when you double click on it, it, it doesn't allow you into it. Or if you double click on the hard drive and then you try to go to a specific folder and it doesn't allow you into that folder, it means that you have to take ownership of the folder and its contents and that you have to have a, a full rights to that. Uh, if you understand Windows permissions, this is no big deal. If you don't understand Windows permissions, uh, come back to the next class on that or just, just do a Google. Basically, if you, if you cannot get into the hard drive and it seems to show up fine, you have to take ownership and you have to take full, full, full rights to it. And that's all there is uh, to, uh, to using an a, a external hard drive enclosure for data recovery. The one thing I will suggest that you do not do is in this data recovery track, we're going to show you how to run the scans, like run scans for deleted files, run scans for corrupted files, etc. I would highly advise that you don't run these scans in a hard drive that is in an external hard drive enclosure. The reason is, is sometimes these hard drive enclosures are a, a bit fluky. Uh, you may never notice it because you're, you're, you're transferring back and forth, I don't know, a 100 megabyte file, a 2 gigabyte file. And, and so, and so the, the flukiness of the external hard drive enclosure never comes up. Well, when you're running a full scan on, let's say, a terabyte hard drive, 
you know, after after it scanned 100 gigabytes, the the electronics in that little little external hard drive um, enclosure uh, may reset itself, and you, and you may lose a connection. Or like a lot of times with these large hard drives, when you're running scans, you'll just it'll just randomly stop, and so it's a real pain in the butt. If you need to run a scans on a hard drive, do not use an external hard drive enclosure actually plug in the hard drive as a slave hard drive onto a fully functioning computer. Again, that will be in, in another class that we'll be going into uh, very soon. But basically, if you're running, if you need to run big data recovery scans, don't use external hard drive enclosures because like I say, they just, they just fluke out. They just, and then you waste a lot of time. I've, I've seen it go five or six hours into a scan and then fail. So, I mean, that, that's a problem you can have. So again, I'm Eli the Computer Guy. This, was, this class was on how to use an external hard drive enclosure to do data recovery. Uh, I look forward to seeing you at the next class.